Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now in this lesson, we're going to look at how to backup and recover a pluggable database. In our previous lesson, we looked at backup and recovery of a container database. So today we'll be talking about backup and recovery of a pluggable database. Okay. And as usual, my database is up and running. So what do I do? I have to connect to Arman. Now you can see that I'm connected to the Arman utility. Since we're talking about backup and recovery of a pluggable database, the commands we will use will be specific to that pluggable database. So I'll do list backup of database ORCL PDB. This is a pluggable database. And then if I run the command, you see that we actually have a backup of the pluggable database, right? In backup set four, which we looked at when we took the full database backup. All right, so that's fine. Now, the next thing we want to try to do is to take a backup of this pluggable database, even though we have a backup set for it. Let's take another backup. You can see that we are being specific by stating the pluggable database ORCL PDB. Okay, so we are using the command backup database ORCL PDB plus archive log. Right? So let's execute and wait for this backup to complete. Okay, you can see that the backup is completed. Now, if we list backup of database ORCL PDB. We'll see all the backup sets that we have for this pluggable database, right? Okay, so the next thing we want to try to do now is to carry out a destructive action on the pluggable database. And what is that destructive action? I'm going to the Oracle home right now. I'll go to other locations. Computer. U01, App, Oracle, then I'll go to Aura Data, ORCL. Now we have a lot of pluggable database that we created that we created in the past. Okay, we've dropped a whole lot of them, but I'm more interested in ORCL PDB. That's the pluggable database we are working with. So let me open this and, and then let me delete the system data file so this is deleted now this will cause some issues for the database okay so we'll try to resolve this issue let me exit from here and clear my screen now if i try to log in as the sysdba okay and then i run the command show pdbs you can see that ORCL is open in read-write mode, right? But let me try to run this command. Alter pluggable database ORCL PDB. Close. Okay, so I'm trying to close the pluggable database. You can see that the pluggable database closed normally. But if I try to open the same pluggable database, you'll observe that we won't be able to open this pluggable database. So let me pick this command and then paste it here and say open. Now you can see we received an error, unable to open the pluggable database due to errors during recovery. And then what is it telling us? It's telling us that file 12 needs media recovery. Now that's because the data file has been deleted. The system data file has been deleted and it's very critical to database operation. So what are we going to do in this situation? Very, very simple. First, let's exit from the SQL terminal and then let's start the Aroman prompt again. So we are connected to the arrow man 
and then we will execute the following commands in a run block. I told you in our previous lesson that we can run all of those statements in a run block at once instead of running them as single statements. Okay, so this is what so this is what a run block looks like. You can see run and then you have all the statements inside the run block. So as it is right now, database recovery is ongoing. See what our run block looks like. Run and then open a coily bracket, restore pluggable database or CLPDB. Recover pluggable database or CLPDB and then alter pluggable database or CL open. These are the statements we are using. Okay, so recovery is complete. Okay, now let's exit this place and then try to connect as sysdb again. Now, if we say alter pluggable database orcl pdb open. Pluggable database already open. So let's shut it down. Let's shut it down and open it again because, um, yes, we had that command in our run block. So let me quickly paste this. Close. Database altered. And then let me open it again to see that we can open the pluggable database. We can open our pluggable database again. So once again, I want to say to you, congratulations. You've learned how to back up and recover a pluggable database. In my next video, we're going to look at point in time recovery for a container database. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.